Hey everybody, welcome back to JDM World. Today, we've got another subwoofer build in store for you. And this time we're going small. <laughs> yeah, we're going teeny, tiny, itsy, bitsy, teeny, weeny, polka dot, subwoofer, keeny. Uh, so we've got uh, from Parts Express, the 10 inch flat pat kit. And that comes with a, let me look at my notes here, a 10 inch reference series high output subwoofer. So this is not the Ultimax subwoofer. This is their uh, reference HO. Uh, now the kits themselves are the same and the build is the same. So you'll get the idea uh, for either one by checking out this particular build. Now, I don't want to put a lot of uh, exposition at the beginning of this one, but let's go over the tools that you need for this first step to get started. Um, now, obviously you need the kit and the subwoofer, um, but to build, you're going to need uh, glue. I use tight bond three. You're going to need clamps, a lot of clamps. And if you watch the video, you can see how I use them and the number of clamps that you're going to need. I use a glue brush, which is this like silicon brush rubber thing that the glue doesn't stick to long term. And uh, it helps really spread stuff out. It's, it's really cool. And I strongly suggest you get one of those. You can use your finger, but it's not as cool. Um, paper towels. Absolutely, you're going to need them because glue is going to be everywhere if you're like me because I use way more than I ought to, which is probably a good thing because not enough glue is way worse than too much glue. And then last but not least is this one is small, so you might not want to build it on the ground. So, hey, I even got a table this time. I know I'm coming up in the world. Anyway, with that, we're going to go ahead and jump in and take a look at this first set of build sequence for this subwoofer. Um, and as we do that, don't forget to like and subscribe and then drop some comments down below if you think it's pointless to build a 10 inch or if you think it's cool. All right, let's get going. I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my ass. Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll. Euro, euro. Peso, peso. Add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Me, everything is on me, gon' back it up. Matter what? Told you I'ma do me. Why you hating on me? It's not adding up. I do roll like a Mack truck. Country heart, I'm a cop a farm and go act up. Lot of scars, I was cold hearted, now I'm backed up. Keep it real, I do this once a month. I don't rap much. I just take the money and go stack up. Only buying car heart, car car, take it tatted up. All that other bull, it don't matter much. You only climb me, I put the ladders up. No fault. I done doubled up on the workload I think I fell in love with the bankroll Pray up, get money, then we lay low Then we lay low Add it up, add it up. bankroll, bankroll. Euro. Euro, peso, peso. Add, it up. add it up I'm just doing me, everything is on me Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. bankroll, bankroll. Euro. Euro, peso, peso. Add it up I'm just doing me, everything is on me Oh, you matter what? Add it up it's all me, everything is on me, gon' back it up Matter what? Told you I'ma do me, why you hating on me? It's not adding up Add it up Told you if it's all me, everything is on me, gon' back it up Matter what? Told you I'ma do me, why you hating on me? It's not adding up Now that the glue up is done, we're going to move on to the surface finish. The surface on this was in pretty good shape, so I didn't need any filler. So all we're going to do is use a orbital sander to smooth everything out. Now, make sure to use a mask. It's super important. This stuff is not good for you, so don't breathe this in. Say you love me. Say you like you mean Cause lately I've been wondering if we should be together. Tell me how you feel. Now or never, now or never But you're yelling at me for something I didn't even do Making it so hard for me and I think I need a vacation Cause all we ever do now is complaining And I've been getting tired of it lately Oh, feels like we're battling it's better if we're on our own Now 
now that the surface is done, we're gonna move on to the finish. I've been trying to find the easiest way to apply paint, and I think I might have found it this time. I'm using a hopper gun that I got from Harbor Freight, and it's usually used for texture, but this paint is pretty thick, so it works pretty well. So for this step, I'm gonna use the hopper gun, an air compressor, the actual Duratex paint, and luck. Post some pictures on the gram so other people know that we're more than friends. And ever since you came around, I've never been sober, always in my head. Met you at a time when I was so low. As the weather turns to rain, we'll install the rest of the hardware. For this phase, you're going to start out with some binding posts on the back, and for this you'll need a drill and drill bits and the binding posts themselves. I got these from Parts Express. There'll be a link down below for those. Uh, once those binding posts are in place, you'll then go ahead and install your scrap speaker wire. And I always have little bits and pieces left over that's perfect for this kind of thing. Uh, 10 gauge, 12 gauge, 14 gauge, all fine for this uh, style of subwoofer, no problem. Just whatever you've got that'll work um, should be good enough. From there, you'll install the subwoofer itself. You'll use a drill, drill bits, and screws for that. Um, there's no need for gasket as that there's a gasket built into the bottom of the lip of the subwoofer itself.
that's all it takes to build this subwoofer kit from Parts Express. It's really easy. This is a great one to start with if you've never built anything before. And uh, you know, I'm using this to refresh my skills as I get ready for some bigger 21 inch builds from GSG, which are gonna be super, super exciting. So I took this subwoofer, hooked it up in my basement, um, fed it you know, 1200 watts, the same uh, amount of power that I'm powering my GSG Devastator with, and it's okay. Um, I wouldn't use this uh, for a dedicated theater, but for a television room, and especially for like a, a gaming PC setup, this thing is pretty, pretty cool. Um, you can't expect it to compete with the big boys, but in the right application, it'll do you just fine. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like and a subscribe. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think about things. And as always, have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.